if nobody knew about pH, nobody would be here. If only the families that knew about pH knew about pH, I would probably not be alive right now. First of all, you have to make the patient aware that it could be something severe when you are out of breath. In my case, if I go the, up the stairs and I'm out of breath, I know I'm overweight. The next one knows he smokes too much. The third one says, oh, I should go to the gym. Uh, but they don't go to the doctor. So if they see that something is wrong, they go to the GP and the GP is never heard of. So that's where we have to attack. One of the greatest struggles we have, despite massive education uh, efforts, we still struggle with many well-intentioned cardiology and pulmonary physicians making one of two mistakes. One, either they are not attending at all to the fact that pulmonary hypertension might exist, or I think an equally problematic difficulty in medicine is when physicians with some awareness but little experience decide that they're competent and capable for taking care of patients who really have a unique problem. Awareness is, is everything right now. We need to know, like, breathlessness. It, it could be something more. This is not right. This is not asthma. The message you need to get out because people don't know and the VQ scan really picked it up for me. Through the internet and through all these media, the world has become much smaller and you're able to reach out to those individuals that are going through the same conditions and ailments and illnesses and all those symptoms that you're going through, they're going through it. We might be from different groups, but we are one community. We need to stick together as a community because that's the only way we're gonna ever beat this thing. I'm Jen Lalonde. I'm Gary Fisher. My name is Margaret Owens. My name is Jim White. I'm Javier Estevez. My name's Kevin Berger, and I'm aware that I'm rare. <laughs>